here I am, back at the caravan on the deck in. Just had the most amazing morning. Um, got up about six and went to record the birds singing in the woods. Couldn't see my hand in front of my face. It was like thick, thick pea soup fog, uh, mist, like sea mist. Um, don't know how well that would have recorded because I did have an umbrella at one point. Of course, all you could hear was the t -t 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 of the uh, water on the umbrella. Um, but then they did sing for me as I was walking to my meeting. So I came back then um, and um, had a meeting with the Sea Watch, which was fabulous. So I've been out on the boat, I've filmed the dolphins, I've listened to them singing. Um, it's a really strange sound, it's kind of like. <laughs> Is their um, kind of way of talking, and then they have these signature whistles that's, that is um, particular to each dolphin, and they kind of go up at, the, up at the end. I can't get that high, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to have a look at how I can make that into a piece of music, which would be fabulous, collaborating with dolphins. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then I went on the beach, the tide was in, so I was struggling, but there was loads of driftwood, so I got loads of driftwood. And it was quite funny because um, I nearly got completely cut off. And I came back up, and there's this like little four year old boy. I'm not talking too loud because there are people on the other. The silly thing about being in the caravan, there are people on their decks, and they look at me like I'm mad because actually, technically, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, this little lad saw me walking back up with my uh, bag of drip, loads of driftwood and said, Wow, mum, look at that lady's sticks. Um, and I shared that joy with that four-year-old. It is that kind of four-year-old joy. His mum kind of went, hmm, mm, lovely. Like, why on earth would that woman be carrying all those sticks up that big hill? But to, to, to um, trick the tide uh, on the pebbles, because he goes, whoosh, oh, back out again. And then oh, you run to the next part of the beach. Because in the end, I did actually get cut off, so I had to wait for a bit and then come back. Loads of shells went down the other beach and got loads of mermaid scales as well. I was really excited about that. And um, yeah, so now I'm back at the ranch and I'm going to do some more writing now. So back on the laptop. But wow, so I went out at six, that's six hours. Wow, with the meeting in the middle of that, you know. Anyway, look at the view, guys. And I should mention I've been doing loads of photography this morning too. I don't know if it goes as far as you can see, because I haven't that far, but I imagine it does. It goes a long way anyway. It goes all the way down to the beach, right the way into town. So I can walk all the way over there, 